God bless you all for coming back to share this evening with our new friends. Tonight, I feel I'm the luckiest man on earth because much as I would like to take the credit, I didn't build Cory Publishing on my own, far from it. It was built with the brilliance, the passion, and plain hard work of... Just... It's over. I'm so glad it's over. It was lovely. Everyone's on awesome. Do you think they understood about Mag? Oh, of course they did. He would be so pleased that you were here tonight, and so am I. I want to apologize for Gwen. I don't know what got into her. What she said about Stephen's company, that isn't true, you know. He gave it to me because... You don't have to explain. Rachel... Well, do you think about Steve? Yeah, I'm trying. So do I. I don't think I'll ever love anybody quite the same way. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just being here that kind of brought it all out, seeing everybody. Are you all right? Yeah. I wonder what he would think about the idea for this party. Oh, I'm sure he would have loved it. <laughs> and I know he would have gotten a kick out of seeing us together. Friendly. <laughs> That's the thing about being here. It's very peaceful, but you never quite touch. Dear. You look so beautiful. It really is you. I knew you would. I can't believe I'm seeing you. I told you I'd always be there if you needed me. Yes. And you need me now. But it's not time for you to go into the light. Not yet. But it wasn't time for you either. Why did you stop me? Because it's wrong. I've missed you. I'm so sorry we didn't get a chance to say goodbye. Have you ever heard me talking to you? What? Whenever I was lonely or afraid or didn't know what to do, I would talk to you. Especially when Jamie was little... Did you ever hear me talking to you? I knew that you were going on. Helping those who depend on you, being brave. Somehow I knew that. I knew you could hear us. How is my son? How's Jamie? He has a son. He's named him after you. A son? He thinks of you all the time. He's so proud to be your son. Uh, you kept me alive for him. You've worked so hard. But maybe it doesn't matter anymore. Of course it matters. Gwen blames me and so does Willis. Maybe they're right. They're wrong. I killed Janice. But now you can save her son. You're the only one who can. But you have to go back. There's so much to do. You have Mac now and the children. I love them. You were always looking for something. And you found it with Mac, didn't you? Yes. Sometimes I wonder. Don't wonder. If I can do it all. You can. Jamie is troubled by something, and I don't know what it is, and Iris is back, and she's hurt Max so badly. He needs you more than you know. He was supposed to be there tonight. I've never seen him like this. It's as though he's given up. He, I'm so afraid he for him. He can't lose you, not But now. what if I can't do it? What if I can't help you? You can. You're not alone, Rachel. You've never been alone. But this isn't right for you. A place where people never touch, where there's no anger, where everyone lives in perfect harmony. Why? Because you're you. You're Rachel. And you have things to do. <laughs> but you have to go back. Oh, how can I leave? I'll help you. But you've got to go back where you belong. I don't know how to go back. Oh, of course you do, my Iris. I know. Why? She's come to take you back. Iris? It could be a new start, couldn't it? Please don't leave me. I'm afraid. I'll always be with you, Rachel. Oh.
Doctor James Frank. You're really here. I thought it was time we had a talk. This is a dream, right? Because if this isn't... I wanted to tell you how proud I am of you. I can't believe you're here, Dad. This is... This is... This is the worst night of my life. I'm here. So many times. I, 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 if, I, if I could have just talked to you. I know. Is this why it's the worst night of your life? It's my wife. Beautiful. She's lied to me about everything. And that baby. That baby I love so much, Daddy. He's probably not my son. Oh, Jamie. I hate to see you in so much pain. And it gave me nothing but happiness. I did. Of course you did. When you found out about me, it ruined your, your marriage with, with Alice and, and you and Mom. It, it, but we had you, Jane. Oh, was that worth it? Worth it? <laughs> it was more than worth it. Oh, how did you feel when you found out about me? Uh, your mother kept saying that I was your father, but nobody wanted to believe her. I was afraid to believe her. But I kept seeing you, and I kept wondering. <laughs> and little things like it kept sticking in my mind. Like what? Well, well, the way you took to me right off, you know? I, <laughs> when you were a baby, I used to rub your little feet, and you would laugh and laugh. And then I found out that you were mine. And everything that I went through, that we all went through, Jamie, it was worth it. Oh, Jamie, having children, that's the meaning of everlasting life. Dad, Dad, wait. I love you, Jamie. May you remember that. Love what is yours. For you, I, I, I just wanted you to know that Evan's going to be just fine. Good. Well, you've had quite a day, haven't you? Yes, I have. How are you feeling? I can check you out if you'd like. No, I'm Here. Yeah, so am I. Rachel, I never really. Well, I never really thanked you for the beautiful note that you sent when Sally. You still miss her? Yes. I like to think that she's with Stephen. Very short. <laughs> Have any of your patients ever told you what it's like to be near death and to come back? Yes. I saw Stephen. Oh. Rachel, look, I I know that I saw we'll myself lying on the engine room floor. And then there was this bright light. And I walked to it. And he was there. Stephen. That's why I'm here. He sent me back. <sighs> Rachel, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I know how it sounds. But he was there. I thought maybe you'd want to know. Thank you. Thank you for wanting me to know. I'm all right. You're all right. Yes. Jack, you should be in a hospital.